now we will see string operators these are all the operators name of the operator and this is the description first one is string one equality operator okay equality operator means in double equal symbol string one equals to string two how it will compare if both strings are equal it will return one otherwise it will return zero how it will uh, um, check the equality means it will perform the lexicographical manner okay it will compare in a lexicographical manner that means um, like if the string it is in a case sensitive okay if, for example if string one has a high capital h capital i and string two has high high only but uh, it's in a lower case small h small i that time it is not equal it will return zero okay the it will it will check each character one by one it will start from the left side and it will compare each uh, characters okay if any if the first mismatched or matched character will uh, tell indicates whether it it has to return one or zero if mismatch found it will return zero if match found and it will go to the next character like this from left side it will start okay so this this will this is the same for all the operators the procedure is same okay lexicographical manner upper case inner case sorry upper case lower case like this it will uh, check okay and string one not equal to string two this is inequality if both strings are not equal that time it will return one otherwise it will return zero and string one is less than string two less than less than or equals to greater than greater than or equals to this is comparison the same lexicographical manner it will compare if it, uh, if it is true string one is less than string two it will return one so for uh, one more thing is the you know right the ascii value ascii value also matters here because the small letters uh, lower case values has a highest ascii number and upper case values capital uh, letters have a um, like small value okay so this is one thing and we will see the all this in example okay greater than greater than equals to zero comparison operators and this is concatenation we already uh, discussed this in declare initialization of string right in the previous example so curly braces and comma will differentiate uh, separate the the string okay concatenation all strings will be concatenated into one resultant string it will add all the characters and this is replication replication operator means in curly braces you have to this multiplier uh, number number you have to mention and here you have to mention the character of string what you want to repeat okay so this n uh, multiplier means n any number you can repeat repeat the string for example for, uh, in curly braces phi s is there that means it will it will written s five times okay s s s s s like this so replicates the string n number of times where n is specified by the multiplier okay then str of index so it will return the return a byte the ascii code at the given index if given index is out of range it returns zero based on the uh, format specified if you use percentile d it will return the that value returns a byte okay otherwise it will return the character which is present at that index in array how you will access the value like this only right array of index like this only indexing okay so and str dot method means this is this dot method is used to call the method we have some methods we will see in the next slide okay that methods and all that will be called by using the dot str the string name dot which method is there that method you have to use if there is a argument it will take argument otherwise no arguments so the dot operator is used to call the string function we will see these examples in code here um, i have an example for string operator first i have taken two strings s1 and s2 s1 is hey everyone and uh, s2 is hi everyone okay only e and i is replaced here so i am performing the equality operator first both are 11 characters only okay so what how it will compare how it will perform the equality operation first it will compare from left side each uh, character okay first character of the first string and first character of the second string so if it is matching then it moves to the next character if it will move to the next character until it found the mismatching character okay when it find the mismatching character that time it will declare whether to return 0 or 1 okay so h here it uh, find the matching and it moves to the next 
E and I. So here we know that E will come first, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So this S1 is less than S2. But that this is not equal. So if it is equal, this statement will be executed. Otherwise, else part will be executed. Now both are not equal. So I will run the code first. So this will be returned. S1 is not equal to S2. Okay. S1 is not equal to S2. And S1 is uh, next statement is less than symbol, less than operator. Okay. Here we know that E is less than I. A, B, C, D, E. E, e should come first in alphabetical order, right? So S1 is less than S2. This ASCII code of E is less than ASCII code of I. So S1 is less than S2. So this statement will be executed. Not else part. Okay. See here. Here or half here. This S1 string is less than S2 string. This statement. Here I am printing S1 and S2. That's why it's taking the S1 and S2. Okay. Now I will interchange this I and E here. Now see, this else part will be executed now. Because S2 is less than S1 now. So this part will be executed. S1 is not less than S2. Okay, understood? Lexicographical manner. I already ex explained this lexicographical ma manner in description. And this uh, this method is, this procedure is same for all these operators. Less than or equals to, greater than, greater than or equals to. For all these operators, the whatever I have explained, the procedure, that is same. Okay, that's why I didn't take many examples here. Next, we will move to the concatenation operator. We already discussed this in previous examples. Like in curly braces, if you mention, we have to mention the strings or group of characters. If you are expli explicitly writing the characters, you need to um, include it in the double quotes. Otherwise, if you are taking string variable, no need to uh, take the double quote. Okay, directly you can mention S1 or S2, whatever it is there. So it will add all the um, whatever you mentioned in the curly braces. So S3, what is S1 here? S1 is uh, high everyone, S2 is high everyone. And in the middle, we are using welcome. So all three strings will be concatenated. Okay. See, hi everyone, welcome, and hey everyone. So this is concatenation. Next, replication operator. So for replication operator, we will use the two curly braces. Uh, first for the number, multiplier number, and second for the character or string. Okay. So whatever uh, mentioned in the curly braces will be replicated or it will be repeated for the given number of times. Here 3 is there. This VLSI will be repeated thrice. Okay. Now you can see VLSI, VLSI, VLSI three times. Here you can see 5 S1 is there. S1 is nothing but what is S1? Hi everyone, right? So hi everyone will print 5 times. Okay. This 5 means number of times. How many, how many times you have to uh, you want to repeat that is you have to mention here this is about the replication operator okay and last one is indexing we know uh, how to access the uh, character okay index of the s3 of 5 here i have taken so s3 of 5 means 0 1 2 3 4 5 s3 means first of all this last updated string is this one right so here i is the fifth index value. So here you can say I'm printing both string and percentile d, the ASCII code and the character. i is fifth index character. Here we will change it as three. You can override. We already discussed the this dynamic length, so you can override. Now I will take. Hello. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Empty string. This is space. Okay. Here you can see. Uh, 0, 1, this one. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. After that, one space is there. 
place is returning okay here s3 if i take seven here i here i will do seven now five here six seven you should it, it will it will return u right you understand this is how string operator works